Yeah, it seems to be very early on. This uh, Cole seems to be looking to pump balls in there to the forward line. That's a slightly loose touch there from James O'Leary. Longford Town have turned the ball over in a good area. Ball through to Adiemo. Flag stays down and he's missed the one-on-one. -on -one. And you think back to last week, Gary, in the dying stages of the game against Athlone, Adiemo got into a similar position. He also hit his hand. Again, that's an overhit pass, but... Berve just has to make sure this one finds its way out of play and Adeyemo's picked his pocket and he's kept it in play for Longford Town. Elworthy. Cross off the left towards Daniel Norris at the back post and that forces Michael McCarthy into a hurried header away behind for a Longford Town corner. But Dara Burke should get there. He's just uncertain whether he could pick that up so he just plays it out towards Abbott who did well. O'Shea. Into Adeyemo, great ball around the corner for Ross Faye. He's onside, he carries it into the penalty area. That looks like a contentious moment. The referee says play on. Well, get centre of the pitch here for Ramblers. This is Abbott now. Can they keep this ball moving forward? They can on this occasion, O'Leary. It's not long though before Cole Flair turns back, but they are slowly getting bodies forward into the Longford Town half. Here's Le Berve. he's going to have a run at Shane Elworthy. That's good play from Le Berve. A shot on goal, it'll be easily gathered by Harry Halwix, the shot coming in there from Jack Larkin. It's outside through Norris. Norris to Emre Topku, who's in some nice space. Topku into Bastian Heary. Good ball from Heary, Shane Elworthy striding towards the edge of the penalty area. Stands it up for Jordan, Adiemo! There he is yet again, Lumford Town's top goal scorer this season. It's double digits, it's 10 goals for Jordan Adiemo, and it's 1-0 Lumford Town. You can see Adiemo though. The ears are pricked, the tail is up. He fancies a few goals here this evening. Great turn from Daniel Norris. Lovely give and go with Bastian Heary. That's good tracking back and it looks like a foul. Referee allows play to go on. Chance for Adeyemo, goes down in the area. Referee says no. A couple of big decisions there. Of course it was Elworthy that got the assist for the goal. So I think you can say the manager's got that decision spot on so far. Great hold of play from Adeyemo. Finds Topku. Topku, great ball out to the right hand Lovely. side for Dean O'Shea. He's got Elworthy in front of him. O'Shea, first time cross. Adiemo running onto it. <sighs> Would have been a one oh, knot. This is terrible. Frahl dribbles inside. Plays the ball across his own penalty area there. Living life on the edge here, Cove Ramblers. Burke has to get this right. And he's drilled a straight no out way. Of play, but uh, It's a terrible decision from the ref. No challenge whatsoever there from, from Elwardy. I'd say I was following the ball, so I didn't see it myself, but... Halux volleys it forward. Adeyemo oh, gambled, ran off the shoulder there. of Frahl. That's a good header from the centre half. Good play by McCarthy there good as well. Get out McCarthy. Of that. Jack Larkin, good ball in behind to Phillips. Kova got in behind. Oh, it's a good interception for the goalkeeper. That's... Probably the first occasion in the game where Cove managed to turn the Longford Town back four. Heary. Top gear. Referee playing an advantage. Bastian Heary. Great play by Bastian. Kyle O'Connor. Oh, and that's come off the heel of Shane Elworthy. That's very unlucky there. Lena Shea wins it back. Bastian Heary. Ball in behind. Ooh. And that's a crucial touch from Michael McCarthy. It'll be a corner to Longford Town. Dan control of this set piece himself. Yeah, it's going to be Bastian Heary to take. Here he's yielded way on a couple of free kicks this evening to Norris, but here he's taking control of this corner. Not a long for players are congregated corner. at the back post, but it goes towards the near post and it was almost on the head of Dino Shea. Adeyemo, going to have a shot off the left and he got plenty of power, but not enough direction. Yeah, a tight angle, not a tight angle. So Leary, the, the referee somehow hasn't seen it and the game continues. This will be massively controversial. The flag, a referee eventually does spot that the flag has gone up. How is this taking so long? He's given a yellow card. Lino! Uh, Lino! A complete breakdown of communication here between the linesman and the man in the middle, the referee. I'm sure he'll be back on very quickly. Yoro directing traffic here as he gets ready to take this free kick for Longford Town just inside his own half. Longford just have to be careful not to commit too many players forward. Cole trying to defend with a high line. Yoro! What a pass that is to Jordan Adeyemo! The flag is up! What a wonderful finish! Mm. Burke forced to the outside of his penalty area. This is a bit of an up and under. Wickstead gets something on it. Here he bravely sticks his head in there and Dean George has it out on the left. Dean George with a good ball inside. And there's the captain, Shane Elworthy. 
Wins have been few and far between for Longford Town this season. But they're ending the season with a flourish. It's going to be five unbeaten at home. 